Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Saturday, March the 18th. It's the second week in Lent and week four in our psalm cycle. And today we also celebrate St. Cyril, who was Bishop of Jerusalem. The scriptures for this service, Psalms 75 and 76. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 20 to 31. And now please join me in singing verse 6 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. O oh, bless our God and never cease. O oh, saints, fulfill God's praise who keeps our life, maintains our peace, and guides our doubtful way. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. To you, O oh God, we give thanks. We call on your name. Psalms 75 and 76, and please recite them with me. To you, O God, we give thanks, and we call on your name and declare your wondrous works. You say at the appointed time, I will judge uprightly. Though the earth and all its inhabitants are dissolved, it is I who bear its pillars. And I said to the fools, do not boast, and to the wicked, lift not your horn. Lift not your strength on high, and do not speak with a proud neck. For judgment comes not from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. God humbles one and raises another. For in your hand is a cup full of wine, foaming with mixture. You pour it out, and they drink to the dregs, and all the wicked of the earth shall drink it. And as for me, I rejoice forever. I sing praises to the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. All the horns of the wicked will be cut off, but the righteous shall be strengthened and exalted. In Judah you are known, O God. Your name is great in Israel. Your tent is in Jerusalem, and you make your dwelling place in Zion. It was there you broke the arrows of the bow, the shield, and the sword, and the battle. And you are more glorious and excellent than the everlasting mountains. The stout-hearted are spoiled. They have slept their sleep, and none of the mighty can lift their hands. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, both the chariot and the horse lie stunned. You are to be feared, and who may stand in your sight when you are angry? You cause judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth feared and was stilled when you rose to judgment to save the humble of the earth. And surely angry Edom shall praise you. The remnant of Hamath will rejoice in you. Make your vows to God and pay them to the Most High. Let all pay tribute to God, who is worthy of our respect. God breaks the spirit of rulers and strikes terror in the leaders of the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. To you, O God, we give thanks. We call on your name. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 5, beginning at verse 20. Proclaim this to the house of Jacob and announce it in Judah. Hear this, O foolish people, devoid of intelligence, that have eyes but can't see, that have ears but can't hear. Should you not revere me, says the Most High? Should you not tremble before me, who set the sand as a boundary to the sea, as a limit for all time not to be transgressed? Though its waves toss, they cannot prevail. Though they roar, they cannot pass it. And yet this people has a wayward and defiant heart. They have turned aside and gone their way. 
They have not said to themselves, Let us revere Yahweh our God, who gives the rain, the early and the late rain in season, who keeps for our benefit the weeks appointed for harvest. It is your iniquities that you have divert, that have diverted these things, your sins that have withheld the bounty from you. For among my people are found wicked men, who lurk like fowlers lying in wait, and they set up a trap to catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so their houses are full of guile. That is why they have grown so wealthy. They have become sleek and fat. They pass beyond the bounds of wickedness, and they prosper. They will not judge the case of the orphan, nor give a hearing to the plea of the needy. Shall I not punish such deeds, says the Most High? Shall I not bring retribution on a nation such as this? An appalling, horrible thing has happened in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests rule accordingly and my people like it so. But what will you do at the end of it? Here ends the lesson. Defend us and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, why deliver us from evil? For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Grant, most merciful God, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. 